Hello everyone, this is Padma from Pramati Hillview Academy. Welcome back to your economics class once again. We learn more about people as a resource in this chapter. In this chapter, we learn that people become a very important resource to a country. Then we learn about people as a resource is a way of referring to a country's working people in terms of their existing productivity, skills and abilities. Looking at the population from this productive aspect emphasizes its ability to continue contribute to the creation of gross national product. Like other resources, population also is a resource that is human resource. This is the positive side of a large population that is often overlooked with overlooked when we look only at the negative side, considering only the population of providing the population with food. When existing human resource is further developed by becoming more educated and healthy, we call it as a human resource. Investment in human capital through education, training, medical care yields a return just like investment in physical capital. This can be seen directly in the form of higher incomes earned because of higher productivity of more educated or better trained person. Doctors, engineer, teachers and tailors are also considered as human resource. Not only do the more educated and the healthier people gain through higher incomes, society also gain, gains in other indirect ways because the advantage, advantages of more educated or healthier population spreads to those also who themselves were not directly educated or given health care. In fact, human capital is one way superior to other resources like land and physical capital. Human resource can make use of land and capital. Land and capital cannot become useful on its own. Let us learn more about with referring to two stories of Sakal and Vilas. There were two friends, Vilas and Sakal, living in the same village, Simapur. Sakal was a 12-year-old boy his mother, Sheila, looked after domestic course. His father, Bhuta Chaudhary, worked in an agricultural field. Sakal helped his mother in domestic course. He also looked after his younger brother, Jitu, and sister, Situ. His uncle, Sham, had passed the matriculation examination, but was sitting idle in the house as he had no job. Bhuta and Sheila were eager to read Sakal. They forced him to join the village school, which he soon joined. He started studying and completed his higher secondary examination. His parents persuaded him to continue more where he, they raised loan for Sakal to study an occasional course in computers. Sakal was meritorious and interested in studies from the beginning. With great enthusiasm, he completed his course. After some time, he got a job in a private firm. He even designed a new story of, of software. He also designed a new kind of software. This software helped him increase the sale of the firm. His bo boss acknowledged his services and rewarded him with the promotion. Story of Vilas. Vilas was a 11 year old boy who was residing in the same village. His father, Mahesh, was a fisherman. He, his father passed away when he was only two years old. His mother Gita sold fish to earn money to feed the family. She brought fish from the landowner's pond and sold it in the nearby mandi. She could earn only rupees 20 to 30 a day by selling fish. Vilas became a patient of arthritis. His mother could not afford to take him to the doctor. He could not go to the school either. He was not interested in studies. He helped his mother in cooking and also looked after his brother Mohan. After some time, his brother fell sick and there was no one to look after her. There was no one in the family to support them. Vilas too was forced to sell fish in the same village. He, like his mother, earned only a meager income. In these two cases, we can see that education and health becomes very important to us. So with the comparison, education plays a very important role and also it gives us all the necessary benefits.
educated parents are found to invest more heavily on the education of their child this is because they have realized the importance of education for themselves the importance of education for themselves they are also conscious of proper nutrition and hygiene they accordingly look after their children's need for education at school and good health but in the case of uh, uneducated parents it is a disadvantage where parents who themselves are uneducated and lacking in hygiene keep their children in a similar disadvantage states japan has invested in human resource they did not have any natural resource these countries are developed and rich countries they import the natural resource needed in their country they have invested on people especially in the field of education and health so japan has made the efficient use of other resources like land and capital efficient and the technology evolved by people have made japan a rich country so students in this lecture we learned about people as a resource importance of education story of sakal and vilas and how japan has invested on human resource thank you